I just thought I would push it until it got too uncomfortable. But it never really got too uncomfortable. It's very strange, you start to feel very warm. Your, your body's radiating heat from your core. You kind of relax into it. It's that transition from the sudden hit of the cold water to feeling very relaxed and warm. That's very beautiful. That was <laughs> I knew that I would have to brave Tornatresk because that would be the only water that was unfrozen for the longest period of time. And the lake always seemed so big and brooding and not terribly inviting. But I got, I got in it and I swam. It was fine. And so I started swimming there every single day. And I just thought I would push it until it got too uncomfortable. What I like about swimming outdoors, it's the only time really where you're 100% in the moment. Every stress, every worry just disappears because your body's just trying to stay alive. That's very freeing. It's a nice escape from the real world, just for three minutes. Every swim is different. I've been watched by reindeer, there's eagles flying over, sometimes it's snowing, sometimes there's ice forming on the surface and it, it makes a really nice noise, like it hisses and crackles and the sky is very beautiful. Particularly now, we're sort of heading in towards polar night, the, the pinks and the extraordinary blues. If you were to get into very cold water without previously doing it, your body would respond very quickly with the cold water stress response. But if you do it very carefully to that relaxed point, your body will learn to not respond that way. During the warming up process, your body will eventually release all the blood that it's got trapped around your core and it will start to flood it back down your arms and legs to your feet and hands. But those limbs are cold, so when the blood flows through them, it cools right down again. And you, it's called the after drop, and that's when you start to shiver. When that happens, you're somewhere warm or you're exercising or <laughs> having a hot drink or something. Because that can be the most scary part because it can be quite violently shivering. And, but you know, a little bit shivering is, you know, you've had a good swim. <laughs> <laughs> the reason why I go to swim in the lakes is to be in nature and to be surrounded by a big audience of people and a big bridge and <laughs> it was quite different in that respect. De internationella besökarna kommer för det är lite exotiskt. Mycket av vintersimmet genomförs ju där det är öppet vatten. Här är det en bak. Här känns det liksom att det är vinter. I år har vi 15 nationaliteter. Så det är ganska bra. Vi har lite nya länder också. Chile, Nya Zeeland. Så vi är nöjda med det. I'm very nervous. It didn't really trigger me to be competitive. I got to the end and the ladder and it, it, I didn't even grab the ladder. Probably didn't finish the race till I touched the, the ladder. I did okay! You want to do it again? Um. I was really struggling to find something that was kind of my thing. I don't ski, I don't enjoy being on the snowmobiles and I found it. <laughs> it was in, getting into the water was my thing. <laughs> <laughs>